Let us now open the sake barrel in three, two, one. Metro Manila Subway Project, the Philippines' first underground railway, is the realization of a 50-year dream that started with the 1973 Urban Transport Study in the Manila metropolitan area, with its construction finally commenced in 2019. Financing has been secured from the Government of Japan through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA with the first two tranches of official development assistance loans amounting to 358 billion Japanese yen having been signed in March 2018 and February 2022. Spanning 33 kilometers and 17 stations, the Metro Manila subway project will cut down travel time between Quezon City and Naia from 1 hour 10 minutes to 35 minutes. With a fleet of 30 eight-car train set, it is expected to serve 519,000 passengers daily. The first subway will have its operational speed of 80 km per hour and maximum speed of 120 km per hour. Full speed ahead! The construction of Metro Manila Subway's first four stations, East Valenzuela, Quirino Highway, Tandang Sora, and North Avenue stations, as well as the 30-hectare depot at Valenzuela, continues with the two out of 19 tunnel boring machines already lowered, currently being assembled, and will be ready for launching by the end of this year. Contract packages for electromechanical systems and rolling stocks also have been signed with a mock-up train already here in the Philippines, and the first train set currently being manufactured in Japan. On September 2022, the Civil Works contract packages for the Quezon Avenue, East Avenue, Anonas, and Camp Aguinaldo stations have also been awarded, while the remaining civil contract packages for the stations in Taguig, Paranaque, and Pasay are expected to begin procurement before the end of the year. Now, following the contract signing last May 5, 2022, Tokyo Tobishima Megawai Joint Venture will commence the works of Contract Package 104 to construct Ortigas and Shaw Boulevard stations that will connect Camp Aguinaldo Station from Quezon City to Kalayaan Avenue Station in Taguig, targeted to be operational by 2028. This is the Metro Manila Subway Project. This is the future of the railway sector, and we shall continue, expand, and confidently build various infrastructure projects to provide safe, comfortable, reliable, and accessible transportation system to the Filipino people. The backbone of an economy is its infrastructure. We must keep the momentum and aspire to build better, more. Magandang umaga po, His Excellency President Bongbong Marcos. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. To His Excellency Koshikawa Hazuhiko, to our uh, Senator, Senator J.V. Hersito, Senator Grace Poe, Senator Mark Villar, to Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin, DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista, Sap Anton Lagdameo, JICA Chief Representative Mr. Takema Sakamoto, uh, to all of our friends and guests from the national government, the local governments, private sector, partners from the uh, non-government sector, magandang umaga po and welcome to the city of Pasig. Kinagagalak ko pong maging bahagi at uh, maging uh, saksi ng groundbreaking ceremony na ito. Kami po, uh, I believe I speak for the city of Pasig and the citizens of Pasig when I say that uh, we have been really looking forward to this. Sabik na sabik na po kami na magkaroon ng subway. At um, we are so happy. We are, we are more than happy and excited 
na meron pong dalawang istasyon na nandito po sa lungsod ng Pasig, Ortigas North and Ortigas South. Uh, we look forward to the day that we will be able to walk to the subway station and ride a subway going to the airport, going to Commonwealth, to BGC, at marami pa pong iba. And we are confident that under this administration and under the leadership of President Marcos, that the construction of the subway will be uh, very smooth. Asahan po ninyo na ang lokal na pamahalaan ng Pasig ay nandito para suportahan ng programa and we will do everything that we can. Yung iba medyo kinakabahan po sa traffic dahil sa pagsara ng Meralco Avenue pero ito naman po ay panandali ang sakripisyo para sa mas maliwanag na kinabukasan. Uh, konting sakripisyo po ngayon para sa ginhawa. Uh, para sa kaginhawaan uh, pagdating ng bukas. Maraming salamat. Congratulations sa ating lahat. Thank you so much, Mayor Soto. Now, may we call on the Ambassador of Japan to the Philippines to give us his message, His Excellency Kazuhiko Koshikawa. His Excellency President Fernando Marcos, Honorable Senators, Honorable Secretary Jaime Bautista, Honorable Mayor Victor Soto, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Maganda umaga po. I'm pleased to join President Fernando Marcos, Secretary Bautista, and Honorable Senators and Mayor Soto in this groundbreaking ceremony for contract package 104 of the Metro Manila subway project. Today's groundbreaking is such a good indicator that our infrastructure cooperation is gaining much momentum under the President Marcos administration's Build Better More policies. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the President Marcos and Secretary Bautista for dedicated effort and strong leadership. The Metro Manila subway, as a project of the century, as my colleague Sakamoto said, is very much in line with Japan's aim to support the Philippines' upper middle income goal and post-pandemic recovery. This firm commitment was reiterated by no less than the Prime Minister, our Prime Minister Kishida, in his recent meeting with His Excellency President Marcos in New York. Indeed, the Philippine dream of first ever subway is no longer an elusive one. After 50 years of no progress, it will enhance connectivity in Metro Manila by reducing travel time between Quezon City and Naya Terminal 3 and create around 60,000 jobs. With the Philippines economy now on track to full recovery, I'm hopeful this project would help advance the country's path to pre-pandemic growth levels and even greater. As we place on toward these common goals, our bilateral cooperation is a fast and sure model is here to stay. With the full support of the state-of-the-art Japanese technologies and skilled expert, expert the Philippines can be certain that Japan will continue to cooperate until this Filipino dream turns from a blueprint into reality. Last but not least, I wish for the safety of the Japanese Filipino contractors and all the related persons. Maramin salamapod and mabuhay kayong lahat. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Thank you very much uh, to Secretary uh, Jimmy Bautista for his kind introduction. Please take your seats. Please. I'm, I'm only going to talk for an hour and a half. So, okay. uh, His Excellency, uh, the Ambassador of Japan to the Philippines, uh, Ambassador Kazuhiko Koshikawa, the, uh, our members from... Uh, the upper house of our legislature. Uh, let me uh, greet them all. Senator Grace Poe, 
who is uh, who has joined us this morning, Senator J.V. Ejercito, Senator Mark Villar, and of course our uh, our host uh, for today's uh, ceremonies, Mayor Vic Soto Regis and Vic Regis and Soto, the JICA representative, you, the, the enormous part that JICA has played in uh, all this, not only this project, but in the many projects in the past that have been developmental for the economy of the Philippines. And so we must acknowledge their uh, long-standing assistance. And uh, representing, representing them, now, JICA now is JICA Chief Representative Takema Sakamoto. All my uh, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a, uh, despite the fact that uh, it is raining, it is still a very bright day today. Because today we welcome the brimming promises brought by our drive for innovation with the groundbreaking ceremony of the Metro Manila Subway Contract Package 104. As the Ortigas and Shaw Boulevard stations span through the business district of Pasig City, we look forward that this project will benefit the approximately 150,000 passengers a day by the year 2028. To everyone's knowledge, the CP104 is part of the 33-kilometer Metro Manila subway project phase one the first subway project in the Philippines. Once operational, the MMSP Phase 1 will reduce travel time between Quezon City and the Manila Airport from 1 hour and 30 minutes to 35 minutes. This foreign-assisted project is under Official Development Assistance Program, or ODA, and funded by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA. With this, of course, we also acknowledge Tokyo Construction Com Corporation Limited, Tobishimi Corporation, and Megawide Construction Corporation for embarking upon this joint venture for the Metro Manila Subway Package 104. Banking on their expertise and their experience on the various railroad, tunnel, and terminal projects that they have completed around the world, we trust that our commuters will soon enjoy the unique brand of service and advanced transport systems that this project will bring. Indeed, we are quite honored to have them work with us to make our transport operations more efficient, more modern, and more attuned to our daily life in 2022 and beyond. As we break the ground for this portion of our subway system, we fervently hope to soon enjoy the benefits that they, it brings to the general public with accessible designated stations that can cater to a massive volume of passengers. We anticipate helping our people skip the long lines of traffic and even spare themselves from the perils of commuting. With the improved linkages of key areas and business districts in the metro, as well as the availability of stalls and other stores in the stations and nearby markets, we can see more business opportunities for entrepreneurs and investors and additional economic activity. As our people gain more time by cutting long hours of travel, they can now engage in more worthwhile and productive endeavors, making time for greater self-improvement or equally important, spending quality time with their families. I thus look forward to the brighter days that this initiative will give us in the future. Although it is a given that the construction of these structures will take time and cause disruption, let us be optimistic and uh, just count these small inconveniences as a small price to pay for the fruitful results that this program, this project, will yield. Let the breaking ground of this subway system signal our intention to the world to pursue even grander dreams 
and more ambitious endeavors that will bring comfort and progress to our people all over the country. Be, be assured that this administration will take the lead in identifying, pursuing, and implementing projects as part of the Build Better, More Infrastructure agenda that we have laid out. With this serving as our guide moving forward, that our shared aspirations for a better, brighter, and more prosperous Philippines enkindle in all of us Filipinos a renewed zeal and purpose to work for the advancement of our countrymen. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po ang Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. At this juncture, may we request the President to remain on stage to grant us a photo opportunity.